All right, neat little project today. Um, we're going to redoing, be redoing the mesh on the seats uh, for Nigel, the 1977 MGB. And um, the, uh, the seats on these, you know, these things get old. And you can see this was probably the original size of this strapping. Um, and it broke. This one here broke. Um, and the one that didn't break has stretched. You can see it's gotten a lot skinnier right here, and it, it basically is sitting on the floor. So, um, you know, the purpose of this meshing is to provide support for the cushion that's underneath here. Um, so they don't really have to give a little. They should give a little, but they don't have to give a lot. This is pretty springy. Um, so we're going to replace all these um, old dry rotted rubber straps. Uh, we're going to repurpose uh, I've, what I've got here is uh, some old cargo strapping uh, that the uh, the uh, the binding setup broke, or we've uh, it's not on there anymore. So I got this extra strapping. I don't ever throw anything away, but uh, anyway. So uh, we're going to measure these out, and um, I'm going to make some new loops, and we're going to clean up the rust that's on here so it doesn't propagate and uh, and we're going to reuse these fixtures um, and replace all this old rubber worn out strapping with this nice nylon strap all right so let's get started gonna take some measurements all right so first step we did was uh, took measurements of where the, um, the the brackets meet at the apex of each of these straps and that's what these lines represent this is the fold mark that will be where the length of that strap will be. And if you line these all up, you can see there's a nice even gradient. It does get a little wider as it progresses to the to the back side of the seat. Um, a couple little measuring issues here, but it's all going to work out. Um, and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these upstairs and fold them and uh, run a couple stitches through. And then we'll come down and burn some holes and uh, put the brackets in. Um, and then we'll move forward from there. So let's on to the next step. All right, so here you can see we've got them all cut out and stitched. We have a double stitch on here. My lovely wife has organized those. You can see the, the marks that we cut off. These were the measurements that measure um, the distance, the length for each of these. So they've been folded and, and stitched and cut. Um, the next thing that we need to do here um, is um, we need to be able to make a a hole so that these clips that you know you clip on the it has to grab onto the little piece of um, metal like this and then this clip grabs these clips they grab onto uh, the uh, the seat frame so we need to make a little hole in them so that this clip can grab onto that piece of metal um, that piece of metal will go through this loop right here and, uh, and so the, the easiest way to, um, to put a hole in a piece of uh, nylon mesh is uh, with heat. I'm going to use a, solder, a soldering iron and poke a hole right through there. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to make sure I, I get it evenly balanced. So I'm going to make a little mark on these so that I know where the middle is. And, uh, and then we'll start melt, melting some holes. All right, now I know where the middles are. Let's get burning. Got a little soldering iron right here. Click.
All right, so there you go. You can see I've uh, been using the pliers here to make sure that the, um, the little shaft is, is all the way up to the top and that there's no gaps in there. Um, and using that little mark to make sure I can get them in the middle. Um, and uh, when you see how there's a little bit of oblong, I'm actually aiming for the shaft and letting the shaft move the hole in. And what that's going to do is when we get to clipping these on, and these little clips will go right on like that. You see how they fit? They clip on right there, and then this goes into the uh, into the seat frame, and that's how that goes. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, install this in the seat frame and see how it looks. All right, so the trick with this is to get these uh, long ones um, installed or, or lined up so that they're uh, on the ends here. So you have to kind of preload those. Uh, let this waste material sit on the bottom and we're going to orient these like that. All right, we don't have to worry about weaving or anything until we get it set up because these can weave any way you want. Alright, so the smaller ones go in the front and it progressively gets a little bit wider as it goes. Alright, so before I get this uh, lined up on the seat frame, let's go over the measurements here. Um, so the shortest one here is uh, 13 and 7 eighths uh, total length from, from point to point. Um, the next one here is uh, 14 and 1 eighth. See how they kind of progress? 14 and 1 eighth. The next one is 14 and a half. And the last one here is uh, 14 and 3 quarters. These uh, long ones are both the same size. Um, they are 18 and a quarter inches long. Now this second measurement that you see on here, that's the length of total cord, including the scrap and the fold over. So these are 23 inch long straps. Um, and then these are 18s and these are 19s. So that's just a, a calculation of how much, how much um, scrap that there will be and how much that you need for the fold. All right, so I'm going to move the camera over and we'll, we'll install these things into the seat frame. Okay, it's uh, much easier to deal with this once you have it floating. So um, my, uh, uh, the idea that I've come up with here is to, uh, is to, to start the, the center ones first, right? Um, so the, the weave pattern is kind of an up, down, up kind of thing, um, but you're not going to weave these in a, in a mesh. Um, we're just going to do it like this, over two and then under two. The, the majority of the, the pressure from the seats is going to be right here. This is where your butt's going to sit. Um, and so uh, I want to double up the material on that. So these will be strapping on top of those, um, and that'll give me the best, uh, the best of both worlds on that. All right, so um, I'm going to connect these. These have uh, floaters. They have just kind of like a floating pin that goes in there. And then the little connector goes in. And we grab that right there. Grab on right 
here. Nice and tight. Line this up nice. See, it's a whole lot easier to get these, these center ones done first. Then the whole thing can float for you. There you go. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, so now we've kind of got it floating. You can see I can, I can grab this and pull on it. Um, you'll notice uh, I'm skipping this hole right here. There'll be a lot less weight up here. I want to focus on down here. So there'll be three in here. All right, so let's get these clips on. So this last one works a little better if you uh, if you recline the seat a little bit because you have to be able to get access to this little hole right here. You recycle an old cargo strap uh, to replace your aged and, and worn out uh, seat mesh under your 1977 MGB. If you like this video, please comment uh, and subscribe. I uh, uh, will be doing the uh, uh, cushion recovery and uh, the seat covers uh, on this next week, uh, so you'll be informed when those are ready. Um, so follow the, follow the channel, share it with your friends, and uh, uh, happy motoring with your MGB. Cheers!